Hey internet and rideshare drivers, this is Power Surge. So I've been in Asia for a few months and I come back to driving for Uber and a lot has changed since January. So I want to fill you in on some of the updates and changes that Uber's made lately. Most noticeably, the rebranding. As of February 2nd, 2016, Uber changed its logo for riders and drivers. Here's the new one for riders and here's the new one for drivers. The logos haven't really impressed people that much, but the new software is flashy and seems to operate better than ever. The big change that should have everyone really happy is the refund of the so-called safe rider fee. So the first thing we notice is now they display your payout in large green letters rather than the total fare for the ride. That's nice as a driver to know how much you just made. Now here's a breakdown of the charges for a ride. The fare for this ride was $14.43. Notice the rider fee payment of $1.65. Then below the rider fee deduction, of $1.65. Before this update, Uber would have kept that $1.65. Now it's refunded. So for $14.43, Uber took $2.89 as a fee, which is exactly 20% of the money paid for the ride. In the past, Uber would have kept $1.65 at least for every ride, robbing the driver of a large share of his earnings. If the fee wasn't being reimbursed, Uber would have kept $4.54 out of this ride, which would be over 31% of the total fare. So very important change here, definitely needed to be done. So next, the minimum fare has actually been reduced from $4 to $3 for the rider. Since Uber doesn't take the $1.65 or $1.95, it varies per city, but since Uber doesn't take the safe ride anymore, they can afford to lower the cost for the rider and still pay the driver exactly the same amount as they used to, which is $2.40 for a minimum ride. But it's cheaper for the rider, so that is something new. Another big change you're going to notice here is the Uber Surge pricing. Now you guys know Power Surge loves surge pricing. So let's look at this new system and call it the Honeycomb Surge Pricing System. The surge pricing now appears more accurately to where drivers are most needed. Notice you can also see where and what the surge level is even while offline. This is super helpful, whereas before you had to go fully online to see what the rates were. If you zoom in, you can actually see the pricing amount within the little hexagons. If you happen to be near a red surge after a ride, creep a little deeper into the red zone for higher chances of getting a really good ride, like a 2.9 or higher. So since the new changes, I've noticed now I'm earning a lot more money than I did back in January before I went to Thailand. But now I'm back in the good old USA and I'll be making more Uber videos all the time. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you found this helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and tell me in the comment section below what you think of the recent changes Uber Made. Thanks for watching, good luck out there, and may the surge be with you.